What if cutting greenhouse gas emissions could begin here in the feed for cattle? Farmer John Verway, owner of Johan Dairy in Fresno, two years ago began experimenting with Swiss-made feed additives. He was looking to improve his milk output while decreasing methane emissions. He thinks the additives, if proven, could be the future of the industry. Yeah, the whole goal in feeding products like that and, uh, is to become net zero, to to reduce methane into the environment and to clean up wherever we can and to be as sustainable as we can. Gassy cows are a global issue. Livestock emit 14.5 percent of the world's greenhouse gases. Nearly two-thirds of those emissions come from cattle, including through burps, flatulence and manure, but predominantly from cattle belches, a byproduct of the digestive process in the cow's first stomach known as the rumen. In an effort to cut down on the belching, Burway began feeding his cattle agalin, made of coriander, clove, and carrot extracts, and replaced costlier additives that promoted weight gain. Major food companies are stepping into the space as well, including Nestle, which has partnered with agalin. In July, Restaurant Brands International started serving burgers it claimed were made from less gassy cattle at several U.S. Burger King restaurants. Their efforts made headlines when the company began selling lower methane whoppers, though they conceded further research is needed. Their plans hinge on the adoption of gas-inhibiting cattle feed additives, a tiny market that developers say is poised for multi-billion dollar sales. Frank Mitlöner is a professor of animal science at the University of California, Davis. And when a major player like Burger King or McDonald's or so, when they push the supply chain, things actually happen. I mean, just think about it. Some of these companies are so large that they feed 1% of the world human population every day. When a company like that makes a move on, let's say, mitigation of greenhouse gases, then you really move the needle then you really move the needle, and we need to move the needle. The shift comes as meat and dairy industries face competition from substitutes like Impossible Foods and Beyond Meat, as shoppers look for healthier options that do less damage to the environment. Meanwhile, Verway is still experimenting. While he tests the Egelin feed, he's also working on greening other aspects of his business including manure.